It's hard to do a benediction after that. It feels like its own benediction. Again, just a reminder, um, everyone's invited to the picnic. We, we expect you to be there. Let's have some fun and, and share and uh, fellowship together. Um, oh, and there's some food there too. <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Both when things are going great and especially when they're not. Trust that God is there. It may seem like he's so far away. He's not. He's right there beside you when your heart and your soul is aching. When there's complete silence, he's still there. Reminding you that not all noise is good. Sometimes it's good to be in silence. Draw near to him, as the scripture says, and he will draw near to you. But in his time, that's the hard part, right? Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. His peace is just not the lack of chaos and conflict. It's a person. It's Jesus. He gives us himself. He gives us Jesus. So do we take Jesus and go, Jesus is mine. You can't have him, right? Sometimes we do that. Don't do that. The reason we were given Jesus was to share Jesus. And, you know, we're always afraid if I give away too much, I might turn around and there might not be enough for me. No, he multiplies the unseen and we always have more than enough. In fact, most of the time we have more than when we were afraid to start giving stuff away, right? And I mean the generosity of the heart. It doesn't have to be material things, right? So go from this place, share Jesus with the world, and share Jesus, you and me, as we encourage each other to behave like Jesus, to be true disciples, followers of the one who showed us and shows us the way. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.